What's good, son? You already know me, and this is Five Slow Stroke in the Podcast, episode 87. Thank you for tuning in, son. Let's go ahead and get right on to it, son. I found some news that I wanted to update you all, right? Um, Uber today dropped news. It was pretty good, saying that after fighting, you know, for about a year or maybe a little bit over, um, London regulators in the city have finally decided to grant Uber a 30-month license to operate in the city of London. So this is good. Why? Because now Uber has a fighting chance to generate more revenue, right, son? More revenue catches the eyes of investors and typically people put money into the stock. So we may get some bullish price action off of this, right, son? I'm saying Uber, they trickle down after a decent earnings report. They trickle down to a hmm, little under 30, so high 20s, mid 20s, so like 27, 28. And then, you know what I'm saying? Well, 28. And then now they're sitting at $34. I think this news can push Uber to $36, son. Maybe it'll push a little bit further, but I don't want to be too optimistic on the stock. However, I do think this is great news for the company. And mind you, I, the reason I say I don't want to be too optimistic because it's only 30 months, right? This is a 30-month operational license so that means that they'll have to renew it hopefully you know things with the city will be valid and they'll be able to continue um they'll be able to continuously renew these licenses um for however long the company is in motion right next i am looking at um cannabis companies right why because um this week the house of representatives um announced that look we could potentially be voting on federal legalization of marijuana, right? So, of course, you got all the cannabis companies in position to go stupid, dumb, crazy, retarded, right, son? Mind you, I do want to say, I really would love to say that this is not guaranteed or promised, but it is on the list, right? It is on the list to be voted for on Monday, um, legalization, federal legalization of uh, marijuana, However, it is not guaranteed that they will vote on it on Monday. Maybe they'll vote on it in the future, if not Monday. But I just want people to know that there's a possibility that this will not go through. This is technically a rumor, right? So you buy the rumor, sell the news. This is your opportunity to do that, right? It's a risk that you take for some type of profit. So we'll see how it goes, son. Um <clears throat> I think that if this bill is passed, son, there is a high chance of seeing cannabis companies really move in a strangely bullish way, son. I think they will really take off and go parabolic. You see a lot of these companies um, such as, what is this called? Like, you got Tilray. If you look at um, Tilray, right, if you pull up a Tilray chart, you'll see that Tilray once was over $20, right, son? In addition to being over $20, Tilray was also, how high does this joint go? Let me go check. Tilray was once in the high 60s, right? Well, mid 60s, 66 $67. At one point, Tilray was $67. Tilray now is sitting at eight fifty seven. dollars Mind you, Tilray was sitting under $6, really. Well, under $5, not even, you know, a month ago. This month, Tilray was once under $5. So this stock is ready to go stupid, dumb, crazy, retarded. It's already gapping up. And I do see more upside potential on Tilray. Tilray, right? SNDL is another one. SNDL can really go above. Um, oh, before I go to SNDL. Tilray, I'm expecting a move over $10 this week on Monday um, prior to the announcement, but we'll see, right? I call $8, $8 happened, almost went to 9 but we'll see how it really plays out. Um, SNDL, though, SNDL, I do think that joint will hit a dollar. I don't know if it'll surpass a dollar, but I'm anticipating a dollar. So that joint ran, it tapped 90, 90 cent and came right back down. So, We'll see. Obviously, there's some resistance there at 90 cents, so I won't be too optimistic, but I do think that SNDL could really move. It's a penny stock and has upside potential, right? Uh, ACB is another one. MJ, that's the 
ETF. There's so many cannabis companies out there. You got CGC, Cron, um, well, yeah, C R O N, I believe. And, bro, it's so Planet 13. There are so many cannabis companies out there, right, son? But this news, I think, is really bullish for cannabis, son. And really, ultimately, just got to watch. As far as other plays on the side, son, um, check out Square. I think Square has been down for a while, and I'm anticipating some... Uh, I'm anticipating some upside movement on Square soon. Same with Costco, right, son? But as far as, oh, oh, crap. I want to go back to Tilray, son. If you are interested in playing Tilray, I would recommend first, make sure you have day trades in your account. Let me teach you how to trade this real quick. Make sure you have day trades in your account, right? If you have day trades, I would recommend you looking at a $9 or a $10 call, right? $9 call right now probably be... Eh, it depends on your expiration, but this coming week, the first expiration for the first should be under $100, right? So it, it'll say like 90 something cents. Look at that. Or you can look at the $10, which would be even cheaper than that, right? If you have a good $500 in your account, buy two, buy three. Um, maybe not at the same time, but buy two. Look, wait for it to pull back, buy another one. Then you'll have three. If the news comes out and the joint is very bullish, you will see profit. Take profit at about, I would say about, um, two, well, I would take profit at 100% on um, one of the calls, right? If you make your way up to 200%, I would take um, profit on, on two contracts at 200% and let that last one run, right, son? And... Mind you, you will only have a certain amount of time before it expires. So when you do that, son, let that joint run. If it continues to run through the week or if it pulls back during the week, it doesn't matter. You've already made all of your money back plus more, son. Um, even if that joint runs to 100%, you kind of already made your money back. Um, but, son, I do think that we can see bullish movement in the market. Uh, things with Biden and Putin, son, I don't know. The whole Russia thing is really... Um, Kind of like hurting the economy to some degree, but we'll persevere through it. Looks, this is Forever So Stroking the Podcast, son. I'm just here to give you guidance and perspective. If you need me, just hit me, son. But for now, I gotta go. Oof.